All right, welcome everybody. I'm very happy that we're going to have a very fun lecture continuing on the the topic, the theme um, that we've been working on in a in a in a in a fun nonlinear way over the past weeks, um, dealing with the idea of science unshackled, the the concept that there isn't just this one thing called science that everybody agrees upon. Um, that's not the case. We've we we've been given a fault a, a falsity a falsehood by this story that there is one thing called science. Um, there, there are different ideas of what science is throughout history. However, one method of thinking works very well at making discoveries. Many other methods calling themselves science don't work very well when you use those methods to make discoveries of God's creation and apply those for making life better for people, more insightful. Um, but there is a method. There is a method in the, the quality of, of the human reason within this process, within the, within the universe that we were created into, and that has certain resonances with that said universe that allows for discoveries to even happen in the first place is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. And, and the fact that this dichotomy has been, has been created over, especially the last century, um, between logic and feelings, you know, you, you could be an artist and 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 be free of using reason or you can be uh, a scientist and be be free of using your emotions but you can pick you have to pick one extreme you could be an engineer and use mathematics but don't be contaminated by aesthetics beauty that's irrelevant it's meaningless or if you want to be an artist you can't be contaminated with ideas of logic of reason that's just it's it's impure it's it's suppress it's tyranny to the emotions um that that's a false dichotomy and what I loved about Femi Krasniki's work, um, well, I was I was introduced by Quan originally to this this documentary called K nineteen on the Great Pyramid, um, and I I didn't want to watch it at first. I I spent some time saying I've watched so many of these things, I'm exhausted, I can't <laughs> I can't do it, and I sort of um, it took me a while to finally give it a chance and sit down and and Cynthia and I. We uh, we spent three hours just really in awe that for the first time, a coherent, com the most competent approach to explaining things that I had never found had been addressed properly. Regardless whether you're from the school, the mainstream school that says everything was done by slave labor, um, brute force, you know, x amount of years ago, and. Um, or if you're from the opposing school that posits aliens and Atlanteans and other things, it, nothing came even a fraction close to addressing in a reasonable, comprehensive manner what Femi was able to do in his research that tied not just the pyramids and, 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 a, and a solid hypothesis, a very good one regarding their construction, but also the quality of discoveries which these people must have made and also looked at the the international dynamics what was the world like what type of world must have existed such that this civilization and this this inter international um gr network of of a global maritime uh transoceanic civilization must have been able to exist and have intercourse with each other stretching from the americas to asia africa and uh, and beyond i i just loved it and I, I i hope a lot of people here have had a chance to look at that um femi uh also i was really happy that we had a series of interviews uh maybe not so much interviews but discussions where uh femi was able to introduce some very important ideas regarding what is the metric system what are the these things we take for granted when we use meters <laughs> uh feet all of these things and that's been very that that's been very mystified for a lot of people. So I think that these these presentations, the series that some of us here uh, in this Zoom meeting have watched, were did a wonderful job um, at, at demystifying that. And I asked Femi if if he'd like to give a presentation um, on whatever he'd like, and uh, dealing with this whole question and its its metaphysical implications. So um, I was overjoyed that the answer was fine was yes. And the topic today that Femi selected is understanding God, creator, architect, and definitive, the definitive answer by science, which is a very provocative answer. It doesn't mean that one has to 
believe in everything that you're going to hear, but it, what it is, is it's a, it's a potent conversation about reality. And that's what we really need in our society. This is what, what's been banned. And this idea of bridging this question of spirituality, science in a healthy, natural way is really what we want to do with the Rising Tide Foundation. So again, Femi, thank you so much for doing this. Like usual, we're going to listen and uh, and just take in your presentation for however long you want to deliver your main course. And then afterwards, I ask I ask people to leave your, your names in the chat box and I'll call upon you in order or just write down your question if you'd like me to ask it. And I'll post it to, to Femi after the main presentation is finished. So with that, the stage, good sir, is all yours. Uh, did, did you hear me uh, correctly? The microphone? Yes, very it's, good. It's a good sound? Yes. All right. Uh, so I, uh, I'll share. I'll try. Where is the uh, share? Yes. Share. Up. Uh, what? Just a moment. I'll share my screen. So you can uh, you can uh, stop me uh, and uh, make me question if you if you want. Uh, up just a moment. I'll put here this. So we we don't it? see your screen yet. Uh, yes, just a moment. Okay. Uh, up. All right. Well, did you did you see my screen? Yes. All right. So um, so I will not make philosophy, esotericism, uh, poetry, and uh, uh, the second thing is that the people mm, uh, there is no doubt about my sincerity all right don't um because you will you will understand uh, later why nobody cannot doubt about my sincerity but there is one thing the sincerity and the other thing two things uh, different the sincerity and the fact the real how the science run etc etc so there are two things separately up just a moment All right, so uh, we have many questions. Uh, did the God exist? We, when uh, we have the answer of this, we have another question. Uh, is that God is good or bad? When I mean God, when I say God, I mean uh, I means the someone uh, someone said uh, God. Uh, as the religion, the others said uh, the great architect, some others said uh, the creator, the entity. So, did the, did his, his good or bad? The fundam the other fundamental question is why the humans are there, why, why we are here in this planet, which is the goal. Does God communicate with us, or we are, or are we left to ourselves? We have no body. We have no one to 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 guide us in our destiny, and so we are alone. We are live. We are left to ourselves. The other question is, uh, where is humanity headed? The future what about where we are going so there are many fundamental questions but uh, to understand this question we have to look 
the past. So this is uh, like an axiom, like an axiom, like a mathematic axiom. Uh, I said, he who doesn't not want believe in the existence of the Antitai, God creator, great architect, does not believe in mathematics. So that's I said. The goal for every human is a beautiful life and enjoying my creation. This is the word of this Antitai, God creator, architect. So, the next question is, uh, this God did exist. Uh, did we have a proof accepted by all humans that this God exists, right? Every human uh, needs a proof. We are 7 billion. Uh, every human needs a proof need a proof to accept this God. So now we are going directly at the, we will we'll leave this at the by side, and we are going uh, directly at the hardest things. Up. So, as you read, oh, sorry, up. As you have read in uh, in physics today, uh, we are um, we have to 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 see uh, this uh, this part very in depth and detail because it's a part very important. Uh, here we are in physics and uh, mathematics and chemistry, and so uh, we have here the international system of units. I don't know. Uh, uh, your uh, your competence about uh, your level of uh, physics and mathematics, all right? But uh, here, does I take my pen? Wait a moment. Where is my pen? Yes, it's here. So this is in the right side. You have the physics, the international system of units. And uh, the other side, it's the physics, the elementary elements of physics and units uh, that I proposed, proposed what they are. So when you see here, here you have the meter, all right? This is the important, uh, the most important uh, subject. And if we are not agree with this, it's, it's, uh, we cannot go further. So here we are in mathematics and physics. So here you have the unit, the metric system. Here you have the second, the unit of uh, physics, the second, the kilogram, the mole, candela, Kelvin, and ampere. So uh, as you see here, you we can see that we can see that the second, the meter comes from the second. You can see the row here. Up. And uh, the kilogram comes from second, from the unit, the second. Uh, and so the candela comes from the second. So as you see, the arrow here, there are, nobody understands what's happened here. All right, so this is completely, it's not correct. All right, it's not correct. You, we can see here in, in depth and detail. So the correct here is this one. So the meter is in the center, is in the center of the, of the discovery of the humanity. We'll see later who has made this discovery. So we have the central unity, 
the universal unity, the centimeter. Then from the centimeter, you, we have the second, the unit of uh, time, the second, and then we have the kilogram, the unit of, of, uh, of height. And all the other units are, are, uh, are constructed over the unit, the centimeter. And then, and then, for example, candela is constructed. It's the luminance of the centimeter of a surface. All these units are constructed, are constructed by a, a longer uh, um, uh, and distance in a surface and in volume. So we have the centimeter, the centimeter, uh, uh, um, uh, how we say the centimeter carré, uh, square, a centimeter square and centimeter cubic. And all the other units, we have Newton here. It is constructed, so one Newton, it's uh, the acceleration of one kilogram uh, multiplied by meter by second. All right, and then we have the joule unit. The joule is con is constructed by one kilogram multiplied by one meter square and multiplied by seconds in power uh, minus uh, uh, two. And then we have the watt, the unit watt. Is the same for the hertz. Is the same for the Hertz, the unit of frequency. Oh, sorry. The same things for the Hertz. So the Hertz is the acceleration of one second. Uh, and uh, so all these units are constructed over the central, uh, over the central unity that we called today centimeter. And then one centimeter is multiplied by 10, we have one decimeter. And again by 10, we have a decimal system. So we have one centimeter multiplied by 10 and by 10. And this, we call this today a meter. So it's the same thing things for the Celsius. It's graduated in the centimeter. The kilogram is one kilogram, as I said in the movie, is the volume of a 10 decimeter cube uh, filled with water. And so we have one kilogram. So this is the right construction of our physics today. So what is the importance of the meter? So in France, we said the meter, trad traduction in France, Le maître, we we translate the master. It's it's a joke. It's a it's a joke of words. So this is our world with the meter in a decimal uh, system unit. This is the world today, and if we don't have the meter, we have back. We go back in time, or all our economy collapsed in uh, in um, in a time uh, i said two or six months maybe and uh, so we we don't have the meter this unit we are back in time we go back in time we are uh, we are in a, a primitive primitive era so this is the one the greatest discovery that humanity has made all right that humanity has made in all over time and uh, uh, thanks to meter we are here today with this development with this economy etc etc with with all this invention etc so uh, the next question is what about what about the pyramid egypt 
with physics, what's, what's happened? What's happened here? What is the link between pyramid and the international system of unit, the physics, etc.? Uh, uh, the Egypt, formerly Kemet, it was called Kemet. Uh, traduction in Kemet, uh, it uh, it is the the black land, uh, and it's not the black land for the the Nile, the limon of the Nile, the the ground of the Nile, but it was called black land by for the people who lived in this country. So, uh, what is the link between this, this development, and the link between the pyramid, the Kemet Egypt? Uh, Math, if you want, uh, I can, uh, do you want to continue, or I can get some, uh, some question? Uh, you you are the maestro uh if you want to stop and ask questions now is the time if if people everyone should know that they are automatically on mute so if you do have a question that you want to throw out there right now um or it's your or call. if you, you you can you can write the question in a notepad yeah. if you have question you can write in a notepad so you didn't forget you make like egyptian so egyptian every everything they had in 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 uh, their head, uh, they write in uh, they write in papyrus, so we don't forget. So let's go. So where the this meter comes, this important, the greatest, the greatest important come. Uh, so I put here the image of the pharaoh Djoser. This is you have the pyramid of Giza. Here you have the pyramid of Giza. So this is the conversation rule three cross product. Uh, it's something very basic. You have uh, you have learned this in school. So I have an egg. I will change with three eggs, all right? And then how many? I have five eggs. How many apples? I will change exchange with uh, with five eggs. All right, so I'll make the multiplication five by three. All right, five eggs by three apples divided by one egg. So we will exchange this with four, uh, 50 apples. All right, this is the conversation, conversion rule of three production, of cross production. You have to understand that the apple exists, it's not something that doesn't exist the x exist too this is very important these two production exist all right so where the the metric system comes so when you read uh, when you read in wikipedia in uh, at the internet etc so you read that the system this is the historic of meter all right, and the meter it, it comes from the revolution. It it is a discovery of a French Revolution, or in fact, we have a problem here that the met the meter doesn't it it was doesn't uh, discover in uh, by France, but it came from Egypt. <clears throat> so the meter appear here in uh, 1799 70 uh, 80 or 70 officially officially or 70 for uh, 55 that's the history of the meter at this time the meter it was not public all right it was not public but we'll see this later for the moment, at the history, official history, we have this, that the meter what is the a portion of, uh, of meridian. Uh, I will up, I will show this. So, so, 
So the meter, it is a, a portion of uh, the arc of uh, meridian. And uh, this meter was divided by 10 million. And so we have the meter. So we have the meter. But we have a problem here. We have a problem here because uh, up I saw the original document. So this is a document in French, the original document. Uh, you can download this at uh, BMF, BMF uh, Gallica in, uh, in the internet. And you, this is the old document, around uh, 700 page, how the meter was discovered by France. All right. This is the first, it is in French, by Delambre and Méchant. And so Delambre and Méchant, they measured measure the distance from a segment of distance from Barcelona to Dunkirk. They found up uh, just a moment, where is uh, up? They found, right here, you have the, the old document. And what is it? It's important here that they found that the, uh, the meridian it was measured in Toise because the meter doesn't, doesn't exist here yet. And the meridian, it was measured with a unit called Toise, with a standard called Toise. And this standard, uh, this distance, the, the meridian, it, it is 5 million uh, 130, uh, 30, 740 toise. toise. This is the standard that, uh, uh, that the meridian was, was measured. So this meridian here, this, the, the meridian, uh, it, it is, uh, it is 5 million, 130,000 to us. So the meter doesn't not yet exist. The meter doesn't exist. And then they put up uh, this word and the meter 443,000 lines, etc. The problem is that the meter we cannot make a conversation all right so how we can convert make the conversion the exchange from toise to meter the rule of three so in 1775 we cannot exchange from toise to meter because the meter doesn't exist yet all right so the meter is not discovered it's not discovered in uh, by france in uh, 1799 but it was discovered it came long long before long long before so uh, this idea that the meter comes from uh, from the French Revolution. It is a discovery of French Revolution. It's not true. The meter is uh, very. It, uh, it it comes from from the Egypt, as we'll see further. So, I will show you um, a little movie that you understand that uh, this is this is not correct. It is in uh, in English. Just a moment. Up forty seven. So you can hear it in English and in French. It's a documentary uh, diffused and uh, broadcast in Arte uh, TV channel in France. At forty seven. 
So this is Ken Adler, who writes the book about the discover of the meter by France. Listen carefully. Mesurer la circonférence exacte de la planète sous la Révolution française et arrêter la longueur définitive du mètre. Mais ce faisant, il découvre que la courbure de la Terre n'est pas régulière. They discovered the Lambert machine. Uh, you can hear in the English uh, behind that discover machine discover that the the curvature of the earth it's not the same uh, in uh, in uh, in Europe in Asia in Africa in America it's not the same the curvature of the earth la courbure est différente à Paris elle est différente à Milan elle est différente à Boston autrement dit the Earth, it's not a perfect, uh, a perfect sphere. All right, I already re put here you to 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 listen. On which to base the meter. So there is no perfect earth out there on which to base the meter. All right. So the discovery, uh, the, the author of uh, the book of Discovery Meter, he said himself that uh, there is no perfect earth to base the meter. All right. We understand that the system, the metric system, this doesn't come from this. And we see, we saw, we saw that the, up, we cannot make exchange, we cannot make exchange from twice to meter because a meter, it doesn't exist in 90, in 1799. All right. So, for example, here with the eggs, here we have the meter. This is the meter. All right. The, sorry, this is the toys. The unit toys, all right. We have measured. They measured the the arc of meridian, the meridian with toys, uh, standard. The meter doesn't exist, all right. The meter doesn't exist, so we cannot make exchange with a unit, all right. This is the meter. We cannot make exchange with a unit that doesn't exist. All right. So, for example, today we have the meter, and uh, I said uh, we uh, we I want I want to exchange the meter with uh, Rambatumba, for example. What is this unit, Rambatumba? You never heard this unit; it doesn't exist. Uh, and I said uh, this exists in my mind. All right, but this unit, this standard, doesn't exist. So it's the same. It's the same things, the exchange with euro or dollar. The euro exists, the dollar exists. But when someone comes with another uh, unit, with another device that you never heard, that doesn't exist, you cannot make exchange with something that doesn't exist. All right. So the meter, it doesn't come, it doesn't come from. Uh, from the French Revolution, the meter comes long, long before, before uh, the meters come in reality from Egypt. Uh, so I found the meter. I found the meter uh, in uh, in uh, in um, uh, uh, twenty eight. June of uh, of uh, 2018. So I put, I create, uh, I made a video. Sorry. So I made a video, the re the reconstruction of um, uh, reenactment of uh, of this uh, of this day. How I discovered the meter. Uh, and. Reenactment of the day of June uh, 20, uh, 28, 2018. And so 
I was I started the creation the the I started the the movie in 2015 the movie Great Pyramid the Key 2019 and so I was uh, I was in um, I I have I have uh, advanced very much in the movie in the in the construction of the pyramid and uh, at the at the last moment i i said i have to to put something new in the film the movie all right i at this time uh i was searching about uh something like uh, millimeters uh, something like uh, uh six millimeters or seven or eight millimeters all right uh i didn't understand how the royal cubit works with the meter etc p uh, pi uh, golden number etc and uh, this was at noon and at a moment uh, i at a moment uh, up i put my uh, my hands uh, but what i have to find what i have to measure and the moment i i heard like a like a voice like a, a voice that tell me uh up so it, it's happened in a second uh three four seconds i you you can see the the video at uh, in youtube and for two or three seconds i see thousand or maybe million of things because i have to measure something how the egyptian has found uh, this unit uh, the royal cubit all right and at the moment uh i i see uh, uh, water and this voice said me take a glass and fill it with water so i fill this with water this voice said said me uh, put a drop all right make a make a drop so i make i make a drop and measure measure the diameter uh, the diameter of the drop all right i measure at uh, more at uh, this is in a time of seconds huh? all right and in uh, a moment i said uh, I didn't see, uh, I was looking uh, for uh, six millimeters or zero, zero six centimeters or seven millimeters, something like this. I don't know really what I have to, 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 to search. I, I didn't have nothing, uh, nothing idea. And at the moment I want to leave, uh, I said to myself, it's something stupid but at the last moment this voice said to me look 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 very carefully and i see very carefully and i see like uh, two two lines that uh, grow up as i show so don't go look this voice said don't low don't go look look carefully all right i look carefully and i saw I saw two lines that grow up, and these two lines said me this is one centimeter. All right. Some uh, some seconds few few uh, some second later, I saw this uh, like a voice, like an image. I saw this so now for me you have one centimeter multiplied by ten one decimeter and uh, you have 100 you have one meter and you go uh, you you will make the the equation uh, uh, pi divided by six you have 0 0.42 and 36 it's now you will graduate this uh, into the meter and this is the royal cubit the royal cubit the the birth of royal uh, cubit Egyptian, and and later 
Uh, I think about three week, uh, three weeks, or maybe one month later, that I discover, I discover the kilogram that the kilogram is uh, ten by ten, and at this moment I discover the unit, the second, that the second is graduated in uh, in the circum uh, in the circumference of the Earth, circumference of the Earth. So, the probability to find, for a human to find, to find uh, this unit, this is the universal unit, a unit that doesn't change, never, this is the overage of the droplet of water, in a human scale, the probability is zero. Right, you have a zero point zero zero. Me, even you have milliard of years of your life, you can never found this. You can never find this, even you have milliard of years of life. So, this is this is the the uh, the the scene, the site of the existence of this creator. So, as I said, this was happened two times. This event was happened two times. Just a moment. Uh, up. Uh, it's an, it happened two times. The first time in uh, Egypt. In uh, in Egypt, around uh, 2017 before uh, before Christ, and the second time in 20 June 20. And later, uh, as I I said in this video, I discovered the the unit, the kilogram, and the second. And this meter, this meter. The, the centimeter that I found this unit, I, I found this in, uh, in a Saqqara, all right, as I put in the movie, Don't, there is 1,000 millimeters, all right, uh, a sarcophage measured by laser, with laser. The centimeter we found in Karnak, the centimeter we found with a, a mathematical equation in the Great Pyramid, everywhere. We found the meter in uh, Coriconcha in Peru. All right. So you have the, the temple of Coriconcha. We have a golden rectangle. Uh, we have here one meter, zero. This is measured in laser. And this space is in golden number. So the Egyptian has made, because this come from Egypt, has made, as we called, mathematic applied in physics. We found 1,000 millimeter in Pumapunku, Bolivia. And uh, all these physicians you have the greatest physician of history. Uh, they worked with the meter. And I think that uh, no one of these scientists know the origin of the meter. And this meter comes from, from Egypt. And Egypt, as we call, uh, as, uh, as we call today Egypt, and uh, the Egypt was called Kemet. So Kemet, it was in uh, Africa. Uh, it was the uh, it was a tribu. It was they was African, and uh, they they had uh, discovered the meter. They have discovered uh, the mathematics, and they uh, they diffused this all around the world. They have. They had construction constructed the the civilization around the world. 
So at this moment, um, if you have a question, uh, something, another, another thing's important uh, before we go further. Uh, people said, people will say, it, but for me, this is uh, by chance. This is uh, by chance. We measured 1,000 at a stone, 1,000 millimeter uh, there, 1,000 uh, there. Uh, maybe it's uh, it's by chance. All right. So uh, there is when someone said chance, it's a chance or it's uh, it's a knowledge. This is a question of mathematics. So this is a construction of the mathematics. Then we have the life today, uh, the many disciplines, many many science, many uh, many profiles, uh, and uh, we have here. Uh, just a moment, we have here the religious, the philosophers, the writer, poet, historian, archaeologist, biologist, astronomer. And the second, on the second stage, we have physics, physicist, uh, chemist, chemist, and mathematic. So all our world is constructed uh, in the all the universe is constructed in mathematics. So the mathematics is this, right? You have the triangle here, and the mathematics is this. So we have in mathematics trigonometry, geometry, arithmetic, logic, and algebra, etc. And till uh, till in 1913, the probability it was not included in uh, mathematics so we have the great uh, mathematicians pascal uh, gauss uh, hilbert poincare and in 1930 1930 the statistic and probability entered in mathematics here in this triangle by a great as i called the mathematician of the god it called, it's called, he is called uh, Andrei Kolmogorov. So Andrei Kolmogorov entered the statistic in mathematics here, in the top of the mathematics. Andrei Kolmogorov, Andrei Kolmogorov, he will, he will, he will uh, uh, elaborate, discover three axioms of mathematics. And so the probability, as the people called by chance, now they entered in mathematics. So we can now calculate, all right, we can now calculate mathematically if this, if this discovery, if this measure in meter in the past are by chance or is a knowledge of Africans. So we can calculate this, all right? And the mathematics say that there is no chance, the, there is no chance that uh, this is by chance, uh, this is a knowledge, the, uh, the Africans, the Egyptian, the Kemet discovered the, unit the centimeter in a decimal uh, system and they they uh, they made all construction with uh, this uh, with with the meter and so the civilization will start will start and uh, after we have all that we have today so if you have a question at this moment No, I, I don't see questions in the chat box. All right. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so, let's go. 
Oh, wait, we have one question here from Kelly. Uh, if the Egyptians knew geometry and the meter, etc., where did this royal cubit come to be? What is the royal cubit? Is Kelly's question. Uh, so the royal cubit. I had to took, uh, try to find. Some. So the royal cubit, royal cubit. So um, the royal cubit is. So you have uh, up just a moment. So you have the distance one centimeter the diameter of of uh, of the droplet uh, you have for example you have the leaf it's an overage it's an overage you have a leaf this is the leaf of uh, of uh, of a tree all right you know that the you know that all the, all the leaf in the world when you put here when you put here uh, a line, a, a straight line, all right, and you will, will want to measure the overage, the overage will make this. So there is no, no any object that uh, have the same length, the same length. The only that, that have the same length is uh, uh, to make droplet water uh, or perfect, perfectly, uh, perfectly uh, round, and then you measure, uh, then you measure the overage, and all this overage, it's uh, it's called uh, it's it's a length that we called today uh, we call today one uh, centimeter. So, but. I'll, Yes. Oh, if you if you want to if you still have more to say for Kelly, uh, but I have a question uh, on that point as well. Um, just because uh, I I believe that it was it had more to do with the Gaussian. Uh, yes. Okay, that's a very important yes. idea because not every single droplet will always be a hundred percent. No. What no. you're saying. Just, just a moment. I'll I'll show. Uh, Wait a moment. Uh, I was... mm. uh, up. Uh, wait a moment. Yeah, I'll just say because this is what confused me for a while. Uh, when I tried replicating this experiment, I found that not every droplet I was creating was resulting in the exact same uh, diameter. Yes. However, uh, you explained it to me very well that it's by taking a large set and then creating, looking at the the normal or the the uh, the average uh, yeah. that we find the meter or the the centimeter emerging, and that's just so important. Uh, just a moment. Uh, took 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 uh, up. Uh, where is this? Uh, just a moment. I'll show. Uh, uh, oh. I put this uh, up uh, presentation. <laughs> right, uh, uh, yes, we'll so. So as I said, so we have the overage of the leaf. This is a document in French, all right? Donc, the overage of everything in the world is variable, all right? So, up, just a moment. Uh, 
wait a moment. So, ba -ba -ba -ba. meter. Uh, I'll show you some picture. Uh, where is so there is like a protocol or as a, as we can as we can uh, say the protocol wait a moment uh picture picture metro good so to to you have to made i have made thousand thousand of uh of a uh, drop of water as you see no one of drop of water uh, is identically but there are some drop of water that are very um the drop of water must be uh, must be around perfectly around and uh, it uh, this is not it must not have uh, to uh, to um to open all right uh, where uh, where is the, to, 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 uh, the curve of goes just a moment uh, mathematics Just a moment, yes. So, up. So I measure, I measure here. It, it is in France. Uh, it is in France. This slide. So I measure the. Here is the 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 text in the text in French. I I made this uh, in our uh, in our uh, interview and the last time. Uh, but I, I cannot find in English. So the 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 drop of water must be round, perfectly round, and must not be um, how you say delayed. Uh, it must not be uh, uh, open. So when we measure, there are many of uh, of drop that are not correct. This is not correctly. This is uh, not. This not this two all right these are not these are eliminated so we have a distance all right we have a distance this is not correctly for example and when we put all the distance up when you put all the distance this is a diagram we found that uh, we have many drops of water some of drops of water made here 0 0.75 millimeters, 0 0.80, etc., etc. And the the overage of this perfect of this perfect drop of water, the overage we have here uh, um, the an overage that we that will go this is a curve of Gauss and this the the greatest number of drop of water uh came here and uh, that's we called here uh, one centimeter uh so i have here for example eight uh, 40 40 drop of water that the distance of diameter is 0 0.70 all right yeah and 60 drops of water that i measured uh, are that we called one centimeter 12 12 drops of water uh, are 1.10 so uh, slowly uh, times after times we add the measure and we we have a measure a distance of drop of water that uh, that come out and uh, this overage 
the greatest number of overage is uh, one centimeter. All right. And then one centimeter, we will multiply by 10 along uh, this distance. So I made I made a hundred a hundred of measure. All right. Along this is the first measure. First, second, four, uh, third, third, four, and then uh, I made over and over the measure. Uh, when we add this and i i stopped because uh i stopped to 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 add here but we can add here the measure even one one years after or five years after every time we put the measure here we will see that that this overage grow up and grow up and grow up all right this overage of the drop of water uh in a curve this is a curve of ghost all right that's recalled that today one centimeter and then one centimeter the distance we will multiply by 10 we will have 10 decimeter all right and then we will we'll again multiply by 10 we will have uh, 100 centimeter that we call today one meter uh, did it, did I uh, yeah. respond to the question? Yeah, you did a fantastic job. I, I think that that is so high value as a clarification, and it really does um, add a lot of principled meat because it ties in also the question of how Gauss was was helping people to look at the world in in a way that was not based on the the d'Alembert uh approach it's it's a good contrast because there's two different methods so I, I appreciate that a lot thank you all right so i made 100 100 uh, measure of drop of water as you can see here it's not important uh with what we make the um, the measure it's not important uh, as you see here i i made the measure with a with um uh a, uh, a recipient, a recipient of yogurt. It must be clear. What you 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 will make the measure you make with all you want. What is important is this. There's a moment. Is this? So, I'll tra I'll translate in um, in uh, in English. The drop of water must. Be the water must be pure uh, uh, it uh, it must be uh, distillated uh, you will see because at the first time i didn't make this with distilled water i i made the first drop of water of my life i made with water of uh, of uh, of of kitchen right but uh, with uh, the water must be distillated it must be perfectly round and uh, the drop must not be how can uh, how can you how say it in French, in english uh, dilate uh, it must not be um, it must not be uh, uh, I don't know, wait a moment en français c'est quoi le mot que vous voulez dilate dilate Oh, di diluted, uh, dilate, dilate. Uh, c'est quoi ça? Uh, I don't know what that means. Expand. Ah. Uh, yes. So the drop of water uh, must be around perfectly, and it must not be expand. They will. That must be stay fixed. All right. And so when you when you make drop of water that not expand, it's not important the time. You will see the time. It's not important. You will see that the drop of water will stay, will stay fixed. If the drop of water will expand, it's not good. So uh, it's uh, it's very it's uh, it's very it's simple and complicated in the same same time. All right. So and let's. Uh, I made the overage of drop of water. 
and uh, as I said, up this is the front. I, uh, and I discovered this in uh, in um, twenty in twenty uh, twenty eight June. So we understand now that this discovery is very important. The Egyptian discovered this. Uh, discovered this. Uh, of course, I understand now that uh, nobody, no human in this planet and in uh, in all the life cannot discover this because uh, it's it's a question of uh, it's a question of uh, of uh, of measure. Even you don't know what to measure, right? What you want to measure. This is a problem that uh, the Egyptian world confronted and uh, the great architect, great architect said, all right, you want to measure. I will show you the, the universal unit, the universal unit, and then you will start the civilization. And so the this the great architect God show to the Egyptian how to find uh, to find the universal unit. So we we will will come now at uh, the question of the proof. Uh, what is the proof? So everyone need a proof to accept this creator. Someone need a creator like uh, like a uh, human like uh, animals so everyone has uh, need a proof need a proof but the proof of one it's not the proof for the other this is the problem and uh, so in the in the past in the past many people said but i feel god i feel god god exists but you have the other that said but that said god uh, i'm go i'm going to tell you that about the god uh, i don't believe in his existence because we don't have the proof all right but the god will respond uh, very well you will need a supercomputer, at least uh, 30 teraflops to believe that I exist and uh, see you in 2019. All right. But, uh, in this time, uh, nobody understands. This is, a, is, this is a metaphor, all right. Uh, you understand that uh, uh, we will need a supercomputer to calculate the probability and the probability said can say it to us that this creator exists or not exists. So there is a mathematician, astrophysician, it's called um, Uber Derives. Here you have the video. Don't uh, so it's called uh, Uber Derives and he speak uh, about he speak about uh, the great question you have the link here below Don Huber Eves is an astrophysics astrophysicist a scientist popularist and ecologist of Quebec and he said science absolutely cannot tell us whether God exists or doesn't not exist then you have Stephen Hawkins, so everyone knows Stephen Hawkins. And the Stephen Hawkins said that there is no God, no one created the universe, and no one direct our fate. I'll put this two minutes. It's in English. So he said, there is no time for God to make the universe. So, so uh, Stephen Hawking said that no God, 
God need times, it need one second or 0 0.000 second to create something. Uh, this is a concept, a human concept, all right? Um, so to create something, we, the human, we need a second. If we had no second minutes or hours, we cannot create something. And Seven Oaks said that God need uh, need some times to create something, need some times to create the universe. In. It's like asking for directions to the edge of the earth. The earth is a sphere that doesn't have an edge. So looking for it is a futile exercise. We are each free to believe what we want. And it's my view that the simplest explanation is there is no God. No one created the universe and no one directs our fate. All right, so Stephen Hawkins, we'll see later that Stephen Hawkins, uh, it was completely wrong. Uh, you believe, he said that, uh, I believe there is something, you can see the whole video, I believe there was something, that uh, there is something, maybe this is God or something like this, but uh, the science cannot absolutely cannot tell if god exists or not yes yes i said yes uh, the science now can can tell us that god create that god is uh, it, he exists all right and he tell us with mathematics and he tell us with probability the top of the mathematics Sometimes later, someone called Martin Luther King, he said something, we must to learn to live together as, as brother, otherwise we'll die together like idiot. It's like something, uh, poetry, something like uh, philosophy, and uh, it's, it's something, there is no science here, everyone can say there is no science, it's, it's an emotion. We'll see that there is there is not really emotion. So here we have something. We have many many writers that have write about Black Egypt. We have under Joseph Antor Firmin in uh, eighteen. We have James Black, Martin Bernal, Delany. Uh, Webb Dubois, 1920, uh, we have Sheikh Anta Diop and Ivan Sertima, and uh, we have Teofile Obenga, Charles Funkelet. Charles Funkelet, it doesn't spoke about the Black Egypt, but Charles Funkelet, uh, it, it was, it doesn't, was, he, he wasn't in this uh, optic of Black Edge, but he observed that the royal qubit is pi divided by six, and there is a correlation about meter and the royal qubit. All right, uh, what was what's have what have uh, what's the meter uh, is there here in Egypt? What's this? Uh, what's going what's happened the meter here in egypt what what's the problem it's it's a pro, uh, it's not normal that we found meter and mathematics uh, applied in physics here in egypt what's going wrong <laughs> all right and he was the first that exposed this correlation between royal qubit meet and the meter and then I'll come with uh, key 2019. All this, all this author are boycotted. All right, uh, are boycotted by the media, uh, by the mainstream media, by the school are. All right, 
they are boycotted and uh, all we know about these authors we know only in the internet uh, internet they are all boycotted so we have here a problem so you understand that everything will be matched we'll go now at the at the second so at uh did we have question for this moment matt um i'm i'm <laughs> i'm enjoying this i i uh, i'd like to hear where you go but if i would leave it open if other people have a question i think femi is open for a brief uh question or two any any takers no nope, no takers so you can keep going for it all right so for thousands of years of our civilization Wait, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry yes just to be explicitly clear uh so you're saying professor funk helet before him nobody had made the connection of the metric system and the royal cubits uh the, sorry the the yeah the royal cubit that that was never nobody made that connection before him no okay uh, as i as i know as i know there is no uh, no other author that spoke about the correlation between uh, royal qubit uh, and uh, the metric system as i know i discovered this uh, at uh, i discovered maybe maybe 2018 uh, at the time when uh, where i where i made the movie uh, I discovered maybe in the movie Revelation of Pyramid. I think so. No, as I know, no, but nobody uh, spoke about about this. Hmm. Uh, the secret was keeping was kept <laughs> very wow. good. Amazing. There's another question. Uh, I guess two sort of connected questions uh, or comments one dealing with the the question wouldn't this drop size be affected by gravity and the other one being um how would this be affected by the the moon and the the effect that the moon has on water uh which changes varies throughout the year and uh are these are these factors at all that that came into consideration or um so uh uh, this is our this is our not to consider this is our, our not to be considered it the gravity uh, because all the unit the gravity and uh, atmospheric pressure etc becomes our unit are constructed over the meter all right um i think i think i think that is uh it's a it's a adjustment it's adjustment it's a it's adjustment uh, how how the drop of water uh i cannot really explain how the drop of water uh, show the overage show the one centimeter uh but as i as i know this is the universal the matrix of the system huh? it's the the root of the creation the root of the creation the the part the, the person who asked the question actually clarified that i I'd, I'd misunderstood the observation where the where she was just simply asking would it uh it wouldn't work on other planets with different gravity uh because the right so the the meter would be or the centimeter would would be a different metric or a distance on let's say mars or venus because of the the way the the water would would form on mars would yeah would be different so they would have a different set of measurements i suppose on mars um so what about the centimeter in a planet like uh saturn for example 
Um, as um, you know, for water, uh, we are three stages. Uh, the stage of uh, air, in air, as uh, uh, an air, liquid and uh, solid. So, um, we have, when the water becomes uh, liquid, we, uh, we have all the, all the physical parameters, the atmosphere, the heat, uh, the temperature that are uh, that are interacting with uh, together and uh, will stabilize it, will be stabilized the uh, th will stabilize the the water. So I think it's it's um, it's um, it's the same things will happen the same things in jupiter or in uh, or in other planets is the same things but we cannot uh we cannot measure the centimeter in other planets because we uh, we have to measure this in a real uh in a, in a real condition right like in earth so if if we measure uh, the water like in Earth, uh, in other planets, so we can say that this is universal unit. But the physics tell that we have uh, glass, we have glass and uh, liquid in other planet. I think it's the, it will it's the same. It's the same measure everywhere, everywhere in all universe. We have one centimeter everywhere. I think uh, I respond. Yep, that's good. Thank you. Uh, and uh, so to understand how it's difficult to discover this, what is it, this, the difficulty? So uh, for example if you want to find uh you have to find an a uh, a nile uh i i made a movie uh, i made a movie uh, uh in france a nail to find a nail so i find a nail uh in a surface uh 40 centimeter by 40 in uh in five in five seconds all right uh or or in 10 seconds so when you have to find a nail you have here in the right the nail to find in a one in a surface one meter by one meter you need you need here 25 minutes all right 25 minutes so to find the same nail in the surface of of this, you have the France here. So you you uh, you will find this after four million and seventy fifty thousand fifty six years. All right. So the probability is one by ten thousand milliard. All right to find a nail and to find the same object in a surface in a surface of the friends of the friends so you need around 26 million of years the probability is here 50,000 milliard 50,000 milliard so you have a chance to find an uh, a nail a nail in the surface of the France you have one chance to 55,000 milliard so you need around 26 millions of years when you search 26 million of years, after 26 million of years, you will find this nail. And in the surface of the world, 
in the surface of the world or if we imagine that this surface of the world is uh, entirely by field uh, we do not consider we do not consider the ocean etc so you have a probability one by thousand million of milliard you need around uh, around uh, seven billion do, uh, seven billion um, years to find this nail in this surface so now what's happened if this nail is is translucid it's transparent uh, it's like it's not a nail in uh, in uh, iron but it's a nail in in glass made with glass all right so the probability now it doesn't not work it's not like a glass or it's something like a nail in water that change surface and for and shape every time if this nail change shape every time you will you'll not have no more chance the chance doesn't exist you cannot calculate no one chance no probability if you have to find a nail that has the shape of water you cannot find the probability does not work because you cannot find a shape of water in the water all right and this is on what i was confronted all right this is on what i was confronted to find a unit universal unit so me uh, like femi as a human i can never never find this and this is, was the same that this great great architect great creator great entity god they show to this uh, black to this black egyptian show how to find the universal unit all right to make to make to make the the measurement uh, of unit uh, to make the measurement of a drop of water and to find uh, the overage of drop of water and this was happened the same with me so in five minutes in five minutes i understand i understand all the physics of today so we understand here that we are not alone <laughs> there is a great architect there is a great god in five minutes they understand all all the physics of today five me i never never searched before never searched before of this uh let's uh that's the story but the story go it's go more and more uh just a moment don't this is okay um took 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 so now what uh, i started uh, i started with I, i'll i'll continue with this so what happened uh, with the creation uh did the, did our question at this time uh, or or i continue well, i i have a question i have two yes okay um so I, what you're claiming basically is that the french and their archaeology in france found the meter and then they but what i learned is they claimed that they based the meter on being one ten thousandth the distance to the north pole from the equator um so they were making up a reason but really they got it from egypt that's my first question my second question is yeah okay they found the meter but this the question of the drop of water the centimeter i mean that's your own conjecture i mean you didn't find evidence of drops of water in egypt or vials that dropped drops of water i mean you just figured that here's this universal unit of 100 of which make a meter so that must be what they based it on 
that's the second question uh so so i didn't not understand very well the first and the second sorry <laughs> okay can you speak slowly please okay sorry sorry so huh? the french were doing archaeology in egypt of course and so they could have found the meter there no problem yeah but then my understanding is that they claimed that their basis for the meter is that it was one ten thousandth the distance from the equator to the North Pole, I think. So is that true? Um, so the the meter the meter uh, was transmitted secretly since uh, by Egyptian. They were the meter with the decimal system and all other signs was transmitted in uh, in was diffused all around the world. And this was transmitted to Greeks, to Romans, to to all Europeans after, all right? Uh, and so the problem, uh, the problem, because with this, uh, we have constructed all the humanity, the city, buildings, and other, and others, and others. And the problems with, uh, uh, the problems this was kept secret uh, since the discovered from egyptian was transmitted secretly secretly and till in uh, 7 uh, 1077 by the french um, but i don't know if this if the french know the origin of uh, of uh, the meter as this i don't know but uh, what i constate uh, what i what i what i understand that uh, the meter it's not a discovery a french discovery uh, i think it's just uh, the the story of uh, meter based to the meridian of the earth it's just uh, something a uh, story huh? it's just a, a story it's not the true it's not the truth uh because we cannot make exchange in meter from to, to us to meter etc uh it was a problem for the scientist at this time look at this just a moment so everything the meter doesn't doesn't exist doesn't exist uh, uh, as a unit uh, as a standard that we can buy in uh, in uh, in the market all right today we can buy a meter in the market for one dollar for example and the science of this time cannot work cannot work with uh, with uh, cannot make they have very difficult to make science with uh, with other standards it, I mean, the meter, it was, look at this, please. The meter was not public, all right? We have something like uh, Pied du Roi or other standards, but all these standards came from the meter, all right? And these standards was like... Uh, was like uh, uh, La Quinte, it's called La Quinte, something like this, and it is a standard, uh, just a moment, it's a standard up like this. So we have 100 centimeter divided by three, and we have 3.33. This is what this was a standard. The scientists of the of this time worked with this standard, 33.33 centimeters. There was another standard, the Royal Qubit, uh, that we know. It's pi. Uh, it's pi don't, uh, divided by six. And this is the standard of this time. So 42.36 centimeters and this is was a standard and uh, the meter 
it was not public and this is a problem for the physicist and chemistry and uh, the scientists need to work with meter directly the scientists need to work with meter directly all right and that's i think uh was the origin of uh, industrial uh, explosion uh in uh, 70 uh, 40 70 in the years uh, 70 the industrial explosion uh, is because the meter was uh, now we become public uh, so I don't know if the French know the origin the revolution the archaeologists know the origin of the meter of Egypt I don't know this but uh, the second question, I, I hope I respond. Um, yeah, you did. I mean, but I, I, I will mention again that the French were well known for doing a lot of archaeology in Egypt, so they could have found it there. But um, the, the other question was the, the, the drop of water thing about the centimeter. I mean, that's your own, your own invention. I mean, you didn't find evidence in Egypt of drops of water. I mean, you just assume they must have had some basis for their meter and you found it, you found a good basis. So you're probably right. But I mean, you didn't have any direct evidence for using water drops, did you? Mm. Well, all right. What you mean directly evidence? What is for you directly evidence? Well, I mean, like a hieroglyph of someone dropping water on a, on a stone, for instance, would be evidence of how they discovered the meter um i mean you don't have that kind of evidence do you but <laughs> even you find in hieroglyph someone making droppers of water you don't not believe well, do you don't they? believe I mean, did you find that <clears throat> sorry i mean did, i mean is does that exist i mean hieroglyphs with drops of water yeah it exists it exists oh, hieroglyph. oh okay. hieroglyphs what, what, one moment. So there, there are hieroglyphs with Egyptian with water, uh, uh, putting water, working with water. There are many hieroglyphs, but there are no hieroglyphs. Someone putting, uh, making drops of water. There are no documents of someone or documents or hieroglyphs that say to you, uh, dear human, now we will tell you how we make the centimeter. There are no document, uh, as I know, there are no document of this, of this kind of document. All right. So, so it's uh, your invention. Or, well done. <laughs> all right. There is no document that show you uh, the drop of water is uh, the meter. We a document like uh, we Egyptian. We make the meter like this with this uh, this formula uh, so we we make a drop of water we measure the over age etc etc there is no document there is no document as i know for why uh, maybe maybe they understood the the importance of this discovery and they keep this secret they they keep secret many many things the egyptian makes keeps secret many many things all right thank you uh they understood the importance of this and they keep this secret all right but uh even even the camera or or uh, if the even the camera exists it's not a proof even we exist at this time it's not a proof uh the the only proof undiscutable that we cannot debate or cannot discute uh, it's true or it's false it's the measure the measure are the only things that we cannot debate we cannot debate when you find something 1000 millimeters so you have two two solution first all right first it's by chance second it's a knowledge there are only two probability two 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 way all right two way by chance 
1000 millimeter or for uh, 52 centimeter point 36 pi divided by six so is this by chance or this is a knowledge and we make calculation in mathematics uh, the calculation of statistic and probability and we arrived in the result that uh, this is a knowledge and there is no bad chance because in egypt you have nothing in Egypt and all over the world, you have nothing, nothing that make two times 1,000 millimeters. You have nothing in this world. Even you measure all the things of this world, you have nothing. Second, you have nothing in Egypt and all over the world, a natural object that make uh, 52.36 centimeters. You have nothing, no fruits, no tree, nor nothing, nothing in this planet. So where this 52.36 centimeters come? All right. So uh, if anyone other has other question. Sorry for my English, but I tried to do my best. <laughs> I, I would just add one thing, um, is that I think the important thing here that really blew my mind uh, when I first encountered your your proof, your your demonstration many months ago, is that there is an officially recognized popular narrative describing the scientific proof of how the, the meter emerged, utilizing the, the French metric, the toys, and all of these things. And it doesn't work. It's impossible that the that the solution of the 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 meter and centimeter. It's impossible that the officially recognized proof is could could have resulted in that solution. And I think that that uh, negative proof allows the mind to be free to hypothesize what what more reasonable proof must have been available um, or used to demonstrate this discovery of the centimeter that was already known in ancient Egypt and used at the, as the basis of so much of this ancient world. So I think that that's just an important idea. There is, a, there is an officially recognized standard proof that is false. And you could prove that it is impossible <laughs> that the metric emerged from the French Revolution and the official uh, model. So that's that's good that you, you brought this and you introduced this. And I think the other thing that's so important to, for people to hold in mind that I, I don't know of anybody except yourself, Femi, who has brought this so clearly into, into, into clarity, is that all of the metrics we use from voltage and amperes and Celsius, density, speed, are all derivable from a core uh, uh, unit of the metric. That's not something I've properly encountered in my life. Um, so I think that that's a highly valuable thing to hold on to, too, all of these things that are at the heart of so many fields of science over the last 300 years emerged out of the metric uh, system. Um, so, um, this is, um, you have one side, the mathematics, all right? And in mathematics, you have no unit. You have no unit. There are only numbers and a question. And the other side, you need to 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 put this number in uh, to put this number in reality. But the problem was that uh, the unit was every time very variable. And uh, now, for the first time, the Egyptian discovered a unit unvariable all over the time, and this is great. Uh, as I said they cannot find by themselves there is there is our creator uh, the creator of everything that gave them this idea and all the other units that will come from will uh, uh, will uh, will be uh, will be graduated to the meter uh, so up this month
so let's go at the second so um now the how uh at this time uh it's for many of uh, many of uh, public it looks like um it looks like uh, uh, esot esoterism or poetry or philosophy. So, at uh, this moment, at the creation, donc, this creator made uh, made the creation, uh, as we called uh, Big Bang. So, at the at the moment of the creation, he will uh, create the mathematics, all right? And uh, this mathematics will, uh, will uh, be uh, encrusted in all the physics. So, he has created something like this. All right, uh, I'll show the. So this is the, what I called a uh, regulator, regulator. And is this something like this? So I don't know what is this. It's maybe uh, the mathematics. I don't know how it works in uh, in uh, quantic or relativity how is integrated with physics but this is since the creation so, so since the creation of our universe this is a regulator created by this the ground the great architect and he regulate everything he will transform regulate destroy he there is everything must be perfect all right everything must be perfect and uh, all anomaly will be erased and this is since the creation of the big bang so for million of million of years we have many uh, many of, sp of species uh, the programmation is locked, all right? For all the human, for all the spaces, the programmation is locked, all right? We have uh, around 30 million of spaces in this world, maybe 300 spaces. And for all these spaces, the programming, the programming is locked, as we called intelligence. So, at this moment, and this moment of creation of after, after millions of thousands and millions of years of creation and evolution, it uh, seems that he, he was alone, and uh, this creator thinks, I share my creation with a species. All right? So now at first he will share with a species. He need to create the spirit and he will create the spirit uh, with conscience, freedom of express, a spirit, intelligence, freedom of thought. And uh, he finally he chose, he chose a species, this that we call today human. And all the programmation will be locked for other spaces, only for human will unlocked. And so human is start this, uh, his, uh, his way, it start with uh, intelligence from one or zero equal with other spaces to one. And So, the human 
uh, for the second the human cannot create this is a privilege that is it was locked locked for him he cannot create but he can transform he can destroy he can, he can make everything only the creation only to create so the human the creation it is forbidden it is locked so you have millions of millions of leaf of tree in the world millions of flower millions of grass but no one can create uh, can create a leaf we can only transform it all right we can only transform it and destroy all right you have you have apple you can make jam or you can make uh you can make a chair but you cannot create uh, even even a simple leaf and uh, every time every time human is in front of choice now there is a regulator the regulator created and there is the the entity got creator architect and the human has the choice so he has the choice zero or one like a choice a binary choice and everywhere uh, in our life um, we seems that we have a uh, hundred or thousand of choice but when you analyze uh, analyze in detail you understand that every time you have two choice zero or one it's binary and then you have you you passed to the next choice and so go on and on every time you have choice after choice after choice but in reality it seems that we have uh, 300 choice in reality it's not it's not it's not that mathematically it's a choice zero to one it's a binary choice and up the next so the human are free but in a finite world in a finite world and he thinks so i'll guide the human i'll guide the spirit and uh, he's free of choice is independent of the creator so this is one of the most important all this here is important but the human spirit it's free on his choice um, and the human mind is like a god it's a god with limited power all right you cannot uh, you are limited on physic you cannot make you cannot create this is forbidden and in case of refusal of the creator choice he, he the human will be faced to the regulator a regulator it's it's as i as i show you is this maybe i don't know what is this maybe it's the mathematics it's purely mathematics and all the the mathematic equation um, this uh, when i when i asked myself and him what how where is why the world is not good why the world it's uh, it, the world it's it's no good as as it have to be uh, how does how this works uh, and uh, i had this image i had this image so this image the regulator as i show you at the at the precedent it's something like this i don't maybe it's the mathematics all right and this regulate everything in physics in chemistry uh, everywhere and we are here we are here like we are here like thousand millions of gods all right we are here milliards and millions of gods like our god 
but the only difference has is that we cannot create like him we have all the rest but not create like him so at this point everything it seems like poesy like uh, esotericism everything you want you will see that we, it's science and uh, very very precisely signed so this is the pattern the same pattern since the creation uh, of the, the human of the spirit mind 30 or 40 maybe 50 years ago when uh, he decided he he has the pleasure to share this creation with a species like us don't how it works don't we have the choice for everything and we have the choice we are in front of choice we have the spirit our spirit and he works like our like the god and the spirit make a choice all right it's the spirit is independent from the creator and then we have in the other side we have the creator that will that he will guide will guide the humanity on the, here on his choice the spirit it's completely independent from the creator and when the, we have the choice for something when we make uh, has when we make the choice the the choice that we uh, that is proposed from the creator everything it's gone it's uh, it's very it's uh, everything go well when it when we are in the spirit choice uh, we are here in the in the face we are confronted with the regulator all right and uh, this regulator will it's it's something uh, this regulator is uh, something like um, he has no feeling he has no motion it's not bad or good it's something uh, without motion it's it's is the perfection it's something perfection all right and uh, everything is uh, is regulated by these things i th i think it's the mathematics it looks like mathematics uh, and at this moment uh, the creator gave to humanity the conscience the spirit and the evolution can start so the the intelligence now it's unlocked he has intelligence and to understand we are here uh we are all here a uh, decor uh, we make part of this decor of this landscape all right we we are part of this landscape and uh, so here we go and uh, as you know uh, as you know the history of humanity as the humanity of all of his time he make the question does this god exist or we are only alone and uh, this is all the the um, the evolution human evolution we was sometimes it was the war sometimes the peace sometimes the war sometimes the peace it's like a uh, euroboros someone maybe know this so this is the snake that uh, uh, that uh, uh, attracted uh, his uh, his uh, his body uh, and Ouroboros 
uh, uh, wait, uh, the serpent that uh, trapped his tail, and this is the humanity. So we have only one choice, and peace war and peace war. That is uh, something that we think that we have one choice. The science cannot respond uh, about the the creator about the god all right because there was no evidence or something like this and up up just a moment uh tuk -tuk, we'll pass now at the next uh but in reality we have two choice uh, so i explain quickly uh, very quickly this part uh, uh, just a moment uh, so this is the project in uh, 3d at the beginning at the beginning i uh, i started to make the film with uh, white egyptian all right uh, in uh, 2015. Uh, this is a 3d per, 3d person uh, for the movie and uh, at the moment in my searching i i uh, looked someone i looked a video of someone who called uh, sheikh antadiop uh, and i buy his book nation negro nation and culture and i read uh, attentively uh, this book his book of sheikh antadiop and uh, he said that the egyptian was black was african was black african what the hell what's happened <laughs> african egyptian black african all right and later i uh, i uh, i discover many other authors now you we have to understand what's happened so this creator make things to appear little by little little by little so there is a, a Fermin we have many authors in the timeline all right and uh, every of these authors speak about black Egypt black Egypt all right you have to understand this and it's important why the egyptian has this idea to mummify the uh, the the people what's what's this idea what is how how it comes this idea what uh, why why so uh six thousand years before uh so we are we are here in 4000 bc this Antitai, this Antitai said this creator said to this egyptian you have to mummify uh, to mummify the people uh, uh, to mummify and uh, this he he asked him he made a question he doesn't know this egyptian doesn't know the god exists he thinks he feel something that the god exists but he has no evidence that this god exists however he he said uh, to the pharaoh and to the others i have an idea to mummify so we have to mummify the people we have to to mummify because i have an idea comes up because the god must said me because uh, so it's an idea all right well let's 
you are the greatest priest let's let's mummify the people okay why not and this this served to someone six thousand years later he called uh, Sheikh Antadiab to mummify the people to mummify the, the body and Sheikh Antadiab he uh, six thousand years later you understand how he, he works six thousand years later mummify and this served to Sheikh Antadiab to make uh, analysis of melanocyte all right uh inclusion of the melanocyte and uh, shake and job make the analysis of melanocyte cell of the black skin uh, uh, in the, he, he make the the analysis in the skin of the mummy and in the skin of the mummy we can uh, this is a vulgaration of um, of uh to understand how the skin uh, he works so this is the places then will be the the men melanocyte cell all right and this will make uh, to protect to protect the body uh, from the heat and here you have the melanocyte cell the black melanocyte cell to protect and this we can see in microscope and uh, this uh, this layer this layer it doesn't exist in the uh, leucoderm of uh, white people this it is it exists in reality it is very 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 it's uh, quasi it, it does it's inexistent all right to to be uh to be uh to be correctly uh correctly in term of uh, of science and this is very pronounced in the mummy it's it exists in the mummy and the shake and the make analysis of around uh, 200 mummy at uh, the museum of uh, of Musée de l'Homme à Paris, Museum of Men in Paris, and he understood he understood that uh, the mummy was black, was African. So we understand here how this creator, this creator works. The question is why, why the creator make this etc it's it's uh, uh we have many questions here it's a good creator or, or it's a evil creator why why is this and so we understand it seems uh, we know we know about history and, and archaeologic archaeologist that uh, egyptian it was a tradition a culture spiritual the mummification but we understand that this mummification served to shake and adopt to understand that this egypt was in black egypt and and in 2000 i started the movie of with this with white egyptian and then i was in front of uh, of this problem what i have to do what i have to do a uh, black egyptian that looks like african what uh, what i have to do uh, uh, if i make a movie if i make a movie with uh, with black egyptian it will be a financial bankruptcy all right is this the justice i have i heard every time this voice uh, tell me uh yes and no no it's not a question of justice 
not really justice, um, not human justice, because we know we know that justice uh, the justice is not uh, it's not equal for for all of us. Uh, is this a question of intellectual honesty? Uh, because I was in front of choice, what I have to do? Uh, did I I made the film with black Egyptian or with uh, white Egyptian? Uh, what I have to do now? It's a question. So I I didn't understand yet. I didn't have yet the proof of existence of this creator. I I was someone who believed, who trust, but I need something true. I need a, I need a proof. Huh? Uh, you you want to to believe we God could exist, but you need a proof. All right. Uh, someone has the proof. Uh, he becomes uh, he he becomes millionaire, or he found. Uh, a, he play with uh, with game. A, he win ten million dollars. He said, "Yes, God exists." Well, for these people, the God exists. All right. But for someone, someone else, uh, this is not a proof. And it's uh, this is did this a question of intellectual honesty? Uh, no because today uh, uh, honestly intellectual honesty it means it, it doesn't mean something uh, even the 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 best honesty intellectual you, you can uh, you can buy with for example 10 million dollars and uh, you can buy honesty it's not problem did uh, we'll have a success in Africa? Maybe yes or maybe no. Huh? Uh, as as um, as I saw later that many many of uh, Africans uh, they they do not really care. They do not really care because they didn't have information of uh, of this of this work they don't have information uh because it's it's a question of information all right they you can you cannot explain uh, uh to explain things you have you you have you need times you need times you need uh, media and uh when you don't have time to explain, when the people doesn't have time to to learn and to understand, they don't care. They don't understand nothing. So you can. Uh, so, the as I said, maybe, maybe not. Uh, a problem. So I saw there is when you put this uh, when you create. Uh, Yes or no? Uh, what what is good and why you have to do? Don't every uh, I I put uh, uh, I put this uh, in the in one side. There is no. It's not a, a film for justice. Uh, it's not really justice. It's not really intellectual honesty. Success in Africa yes or no you have to to put many money you you spend times and money uh moral boycott professional boycott you you maybe will see like a black ship so when you when you put this all the future all this side it's not good all right it's not good so you you put you you make the question why i have to do this all the future all the the elements here say no 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 all right do not make this film with black egyptian 
all right? Do not make this film. With. Everything it's no. Uh, when you analyze this, everything no. And this one voice, something tell me, this voice insist. You must do it in peace. Uh, my voice, the conscientious voice, um, something said me, you have to do this. All right? Okay? And uh, and at this moment, I said, oh, yeah, okay, let's continue. Continue. We'll see later. So I was... I was in front of this choice, All right? I was here, the choice. Uh, my spirit say no, all right? Spirit and reason say no, but this voice said yes, you have to do. Uh, this voice, I don't understand what is this voice, but spirit, spirit logical and all the analysis said no, no, all right? I decide to hear, uh, to to continue to hear this voice, all right. And uh, uh, in August first, August two thousand seventeen, I decide to to change to change uh, the part to change the texture of the three D, and so I. Uh, this is in August two thousand seventeen, and. Uh, this is the Egyptian, and so I put black Egyptian. Let's go, let's continue with black Egyptian. We'll see later. I don't know where I'm going, but let's go. So this is was, here's the file. This is the origin file. I have uh, 100 files like this. So here is in uh, Mardi, uh, Tuesday, August 2000. Uh, 70 i decide to change the egyptian on black so all right i continue pyramid construction of pyramid with black egyptian and let's go on all right and so this is one this is was in august 2017 and in february 2018 so i was working and i said well, let's make a, a break and for for a moment i, I a moment of something uh, like seconds i see uh, an image a vision like this a nature without human voice a beautiful as well it was beautiful it was very idyllic it was grateful uh, something like this right uh, i put this image it was very very beautiful but i don't understand immediately uh, this nature without you uh, without human voice i understand this later all right but well, all right i see this nature beautiful but i didn't like this very much so it doesn't uh, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't. It doesn't go for moments. Uh, I and the things will change. The vision will change. Uh, will change in few seconds later with uh, another with another uh, landscape with another world or image. I was in another place with natural, with human voice. Uh, uh, this was in nature. Now I heard the human voice, songs, louder. And there yeah, I was more comfortably. I, I liked this, the second. All right. I didn't understand at the moment what, what is, what, what is this vision? What it means? It's it's completely a nonsense. This two landscape. All right. I prefer I prefer the second. Uh, yes, there it was beautiful. So.
two landscape the first with human without human voice the second with human voice the voice as i tell you i have understand later the difference between these two images at first time after uh, maybe 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 one years after i understand the meaning of this or two years later two years later because every time i i i make question what this this means what this means what this image means and after maybe one years after i understand the difference that at the first there was no human voices and the second there was a with uh, human voices so i didn't know it was like uh, the pact it was like a choice from from me and this was in february uh, february uh, february uh, 2018 and the 28 june 2018 now the same things tell me so make the drop of water uh, so you will understand all the physics and all what's happened in this world and so um, 20 june 2018 i understand uh, all the physics of this world uh, how it works never in my life i made a drop of water never uh, in my life i was interested by kilogram by uh, by royal cubit by measure by physic by all this never in my life all right i made physic in my life mathematics but uh, i am not diplomed in physic or mathematics uh, i have good uh, me uh, more uh, and advanced basic knowledge let's we said so in physics and mathematics and chemistry but i was never interested uh, about this uh, and uh, so i understand uh in five minutes the 20 june uh, 2018 in five minutes all the physics uh, all but how is created and i understood uh one thinks that uh, this is not by chance but behind is uh, this great creator of this uh, of this universe so for the mathematicians the mathematicians understand this very well uh, this is adjustment the fine tuning of universe uh, if uh, someone is physician or mathematics he know very well this so everything in this universe is uh, is regulated is regulated uh, in a million of of uh, decimal number all right everything is uh, just adjusted yeah, it's that we that the physician and mathematician called fine tuning um, there are all the all the mathematic and physic constants that are graduated and uh, they are graduated uh, are graduated to million of millimeters and if only if only for example this constants of rudberg for example if this at the end this constants it's not six uh, 116 this constants is 159 for example all the universe doesn't exist all right or if this constant, uh, the length of Bohr, the ray of Bohr, if this, the ray of Bohr, for example, it's not 903, it's 904, 
the universe doesn't exist and this is called the this is called the uh, uh, fine tuning of universe so you can uh, you have the link huh? you can uh, find this and uh, you can find this uh, information in wikipedia and uh, at this moment at this moment this drop of water all the universe will be adjusted at this day the temperature was 30 35 very hot etc um and first time of my life i made a drop of water it was it's heat a voice you said you do this and make this he said all you have to do and what's happened all the universe will be adjusted at this moment to show me the drop of water one centimeter the drop of water one centimeter all the universe the gravity the gravity the pressure atmospheric um all 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 the constants of universe will be adjusted in this moment to show me one centimeter so i don't uh, i don't uh, i don't know more proof uh, you have all the proof here to show me of the one centimeter so i see here i see the i see the hand of god so i see the hand of god so the you believes uh he said us uh, the science cannot absolutely tell the god exists or not so he was wrong yes the science can tell us this that this entity god creator exists and he is manifested in the most intelligent way mathematics and physics too too of course because he showed me physically how the drop of water make one centimeter and he always offer us the best choice and uh, Stephen Hawkins, when he said there is no God, so is Stephen Hawkins, but yes, he exists. He exists and uh, he's, he's good. He's good. He always offer us the best choice. So, uh, and um, and uh, i'll continue and two slide and i take the the question um in 2000 in uh, 2021 i said i saw there is boycott everywhere nobody was interested uh, of my work so i said i'll stop human are not intelligent there is no reason to continue let's let them in front of of this of the the hazard uh, let's uh, i don't they they don't want to change let's they're in uh, people are not interested of what i'm telling or au revoir and uh, i was uh, i i i will um, I would like to to delete all the new all the video of the movie stopped uh, to speak to delete all the, the movie on youtube all documents but at this moment uh, i uh I, after two two days i said the public uh, i stopped everything but one or two days maybe three or maybe four I don't remember maybe four something like this uh or may, i i don't remember maybe one day i don't it's it's matter of days uh, i i review this this uh i review this um the the two image uh, the two image the, the same moment uh, 
uh, the human, the nature with uh, without human voice and the other with human voice. I review this. What what I have to do. All right, maybe I have to continue. And so I really started little by little, little by little, and uh, I will explain further what this two image uh, means. And uh, little by little, so we, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'm producing a second movie, the tenth hieroglyph the mother it's called the mother it will i will show broadcast this uh movie the um, at uh, uh, 25 may uh, and uh, this is uh, will be another proof another proof it's a greatest one of the greatest discovery that uh, black uh, black human that african has made this is uh, one of the greatest discovery. So, uh, did we have a question, uh, Matt, at this moment? Are are you are you? Uh, is the formal presentation completed, or or are you simply asking for a few questions uh, before the end? Uh, I have um, I have uh, more, but we think uh, maybe we made another next week another, but because uh, <laughs> there are many many information, uh, maybe someone have to 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 understand to 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 understand this or. Because there are many information. Um... Yeah, I I think if you're willing to, I I mean our our schedule for the coming Sundays we we have many is mostly booked for for about five or six weeks, um. But we could certainly do a follow up, uh, to continue your formal uh sharing of your insights, um, in yeah. a future weekend if you'd like, uh, maybe a Saturday or something if that works for you. But I feel I feel like people might want to ask you some questions at this point i know there's a few who have already and um it's been three hours so maybe uh or it's actually two and a half hours of official presentation but uh would that be okay to just simply uh round it out for here and pick pick up a second segment in the in the coming weeks ahead uh you i so wait a moment in the next week it would be uh, next uh, Saturday if uh, if you wanted to do it next week. Uh, so I have a live in uh, fifteen next the uh, next um, Friday, um, or maybe twenty two. What you said twenty or twenty two. Uh, 22, uh, is a Friday. It could be 23 if that's possible. Yes. Yes. 23. It's all right for me. Okay. So it's 20, 23 in the same time. Um, yeah. that works. Yeah. Because there are many, many, you know, there are many subjects, uh, to, un to, to explain, to understand how they are correlated together how this they are linked yeah it's very <laughs> it's very no absolutely i understand there's many moving parts to weave together um okay so let's do that uh 23rd we'll do that and uh and it's interesting because the day after your this presentation on the 23rd we will have um a presentation on the 5000 year suppression of the dodecahedron um mm -hmm. as the basis of also these same constructions w within the great pyramid and uh celestial like spherics by uh, chuck stevens which mm -hmm. will also introduce the pentagram of merificum and that also has a new um or a, an important introduction to 
the golden section, which is tied yeah. to now your your discoveries of the metric system as well. So I, I think that that'll be a very nice uh, two part yeah. presentation next or in on that weekend. So great. Um, thank you so much for sharing this. Oh, let's let's go for some questions. Um, I noticed that uh, in the chat box, there was a, a thought or a question from Stephen, Stephen Doyle, uh, that I noticed first. So Stephen, if you're still there, do you, would you like to share your thought or your questions? Uh, I am. Thanks, Matt. I'm in a public place. Can you just confirm that the background noise is not too loud at my we hear end? We hear no background noise. It's fine. Fantastic. Femi, thank you so much for a beautiful lecture. Uh, and you really hit on some subjects that have been in, of interest to me for a number of years. So I just absolutely loved it. And I'm, I'm so grateful for you to doing uh, for doing this. And I actually have an idea for a follow on lecture, which I think will be some months down the road if Matt and Cynthia are interested. So um, I, I share your belief that mathematics is a vehicle to to get closer to our creator and see the mind of our creator and to actually learn to speak the language of creation if i can describe it as that and the metrology part of it is very important uh, so my um questions kind of relate to where my thoughts are going to my response lecture if i can call it that how familiar are you with the work of uh, professor alexander tom and the megalithic yard or astrophysicist Thomas Brophy and the megalithic ruins at Nab to Playa. And it, it sounds like it's not related, but I think it is. And I'm just wondering if you're familiar with those works because I would seek to uh, incorporate those in a response lecture or discussion. Um, yes, I know, I know uh, the works of uh, Alexander Tom, um, uh, but uh the he he speak about a standard uh, a measure standard uh, megalithic uh, yard you know uh but there is no there is no evidence i'm not uh, i didn't not found yet how this uh, this standard uh, it's this is a standard about uh, 84 centimeters right uh, did you uh, did you did you read this the unit standard found, alexander tom i found some obscure works that uh, argue that just like the meter is defined as the one ten thousandths of the polar to paris uh, distance or whatever it is that the megalithic yard is actually a geodetic unit and i found some authors works who tie it into uh both the metric system and the as the basis of the explanation for the English system of measure, and it also gets into Sumerian units of measure and Egyptian uh, cubits. So it could be that there's a, a, a unification that exists that not everyone's aware of. So I just wanted to see how familiar with you are with this, as opposed to discussing it and monopolizing things now. I thought I would work on uh, giving a companion presentation to kind of build on your work, which I think is just magnificent. Um, so so that, that's kind of the place where I'm coming from. Uh, but also with Nat to Playa, there's a megalithic ruin site about two days drive outside of Cairo in the desert. And there's some very profound things that have been uh, analyzed there, depending on who you're willing to entertain. So I think that might be of interest we could bring it in too. But I was just wondering if you were familiar with uh, uh, Dr. Brophy's work on that uh, site. And the cool so uh, about the megalithic yard, I, I, I don't, I can't... Uh... I didn't found um, uh, how they proceed. For example, uh, for example, the um, the inch, the um, the imperial unit, uh, the imperial unit. It come from uh, eight divided by pi, and then is uh, and that is um, is graduated to the meter, two point fifty four centimeter. But the megalithic yard, I, I didn't find. I'm searching, but I didn't found uh, something uh, uh, where this come as the discover of uh, of um, uh, Alexander um, Toma. Uh, how I didn't find anything uh, that correlate with. Uh, with uh, the mathematics. 
Okay, so, so I've found some author's work, and I, I won't belabor it here because it'll take a bit of time, but I can give that to you via Matt offline, or I can build a lecture too to sort of see if I can incorporate that with your thinking. I just, I uh, was just checking, but I just want to say thank you so much for a beautiful lecture, and and I just love where you went with it and the, the um, insights you had and and your intuition that via this avenue of exploration we can get closer to the creator um, and and get greater insights. I just I, I thought it was fantastic, so I just wanted to say thank you personally for for a wonderful lecture. I so enjoyed it. Thank you. I, I'm so sorry for my English. But... Uh, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot speak uh, like uh, like French, you know, because I, I I'm not here in a English spoken uh, country. We speak only French. I read some books, some lecture in English, and uh, it's difficult for me to 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 speak. Uh, these are things very complicated, you know. You know, we are talking mathematics uh, and f many things very, very complicated. It's very difficult for me, but I'm so I'm sorry. I try to be uh, as clear as possible. Yeah, merci infinitement. On this on this question too, uh, for the tenth hieroglyph, uh, I suppose this will be released. In, on May 8th, will this also be in English as well, or, or is that going to take more time for the translation? For the translation, uh, no, the translation will uh, will be very quickly. It's mm -hmm. only the um, the the voice the voiceover in English, but uh, I try to find a solution. I think will be uh, broadcast very quickly in YouTube too uh in youtube too this the great the um, the 10 year glyph this is uh it's very very this is uh you will you'll go tomorrow after watching this movie you will go out from you you will uh, everywhere you go everywhere you will see this this discover this will change uh, completely <laughs> your mind you you'll say ah yes this is from <laughs> this is from egypt this is from Egypt. yeah okay. this is blow really really your mind this is as i said in the title the mother so there is the father so there is the father and is the mother all both they uh, they made uh, the humanity it's a metaphor you understand it's a, but it's a it's a great great discovery it's a it's the mother it's a mother cool. to make a child you need a, a mother or a father you need both mother and father and so this is the mother but uh, you will see um, looking forward to it um so uh Magdalena, um, and then we have Ben and Dave. Um, Magdalena, will you like to pose your question? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, so you you mentioned uh, different um, archi archaeolo um, architectural uh, buildings, um, and you mentioned even the one over in um, in South America, and I was wondering. Since your, since your hypothesis is that uh, they used the same measurements, meaning the water drop, um, how did they uh, in South America came up with that measurement, or how did the news of this measurement travel? What is your hypothesis on that? Because you also said that it was a very well kept secret. Um, yeah. So I, I was curious in how <clears throat> the news or, of this measurement would end up in as far away a place as South America. Yeah. So, uh, so um, it's um, uh, it's not uh, an idea because uh, we found 
here it's it's proved it's proved that uh, the system metrics come uh, the system metrics the same meter of egypt comes here in uh, south america but um they came uh from uh, island from uh, from uh, island canary uh, they came in center of america in mezzo america and uh, uh as i sh as i tell uh, true in my book they came to with uh, the alize with uh, the ghost stream you know and uh, there was no only one 10 or 100 people there was uh, 100,000 of africans egyptian and africans that uh, passed past the atlantic and came in uh, in Mezzo America in Central America, and this thousand of Africans. This is not only for five or ten years. This is uh, this was happened for hundred and hundred of years. Can you imagine? So when you when you look you, uh, when you look your life or our life. You will remember of your grandmother or your grandfather and the lapse of time, the, the segment of time, it's around 80, 80 years or maybe 19 years or 100 years of three generations. So they have traveled for hundreds and hundreds of years all right for hundreds and hundreds of years they came uh, for thousands of years since uh, maybe um, 20,000 before Christ till till uh, till uh, till 100 or 200 uh, for I, I, I spoke I speak for for the Indian uh, so they traveled for hundreds and hundreds of years they traveled the ocean they came in mezzo america in uh, Amer in central america with the knowledge so they came in with the knowledge in the central uh, america with metric system with all this knowledge the system metric they constructed here with the local population they constructed the pyramid so it's not only uh, a time of 10 or 100 years it's it's a long time for hundreds of thousands of of years and then they i think there was uh there was uh at this moment the the fall of maya it's caused by uh maybe by um by uh, cataclysmic uh, by cataclysmic um maybe an asteroid uh, or maybe something like like this that uh, erased erased uh, the great part of population uh, the great part because in we see in uh, 40 or 30 years in a in in 40 30 years there all the population of mezzo america stopped stopped uh, uh, stopped to 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 construct pyramid and other etc everything is stopped in a, in a in a period of time of 30 or 40 years so many archaeologists said to you it's maybe because of uh, of um, of climatic condition uh, because of dry uh, because of dry the climate becomes very dry so this is it's not correct because you are in the tropic you are in the tropic and there are many many vegetation there you are in a tropic line it's impossible to be dry if there was dry time in Guatemala, in, in Central America. The rest of the world, it was it was 
100 more dry the rest of the the world if in tropic uh, you have the line of tropic in tropic or in equator it's dry uh, i cannot imagine what's happened with the rest of the world it's the rest of the world is is desert is is like sarah it's impossible so i think it's uh, most the probably uh, the maya the fall of maya it's caused by uh, maybe an uh, steroid maybe a a powerful tsunami or something like this that erased uh, all the population and we see that all the population left the center of america and uh, they will be installed uh, in the in the higher higher uh, level and then uh, the um, the african came down along uh, along the south america till in uh, teotihuacan uh, till uh, in um, bolivia uh, tiwanaco etc so we it's not uh, an an hypothesis it's proved it's mathematic we see there golden number in uh, cusco we see golden number we see the metric system we see the the same geometry like in egypt it's mathematics we yeah. you don't need any proof you don't need more proof like uh, something uh, uh, document or video even if you have video of the time it's you you cannot uh, it's not it's not powerful than the measure the measure are the most powerful the most undiscutable document of the proof the measure and, and your 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 documentary k19 showcases it in the last hour when you go through the overview of all of the south the american uh pyramids and structures and you you document it and showcase it visually perfectly that these proportions these metrics are found throughout uh it's it's fantastic and yeah that that's not something that can be erased um so really good. thank you very much i'm no i'm very happy because um because it shows um what shall i say okay how human ingenuity is uh, uh playing a huge role in 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 all of this obviously yeah, yeah but, thank you and i would add based on what you're saying magdalena um there there what you've done for africa because I mean, Africa has been so abused by colonial powers who have sought to erase this memory. But the same thing could be done for Native Americans as well, who have suffered as well under so much abuse and manipulation to to sever them from their ancient historic heritage. And a lot of the natives of Canada, of the United States, of the the Latin American countries, have all been convinced, or many, most of them have, that there is no connection between the great civilizations. Of the deep past of the Olmecs, and uh, and they're and they've been told, no, you are naturally uh, uh, against technology. Your civilization is 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 more savage by nature, more pure, and uh, not not for technology. But it's it's a lie. It's the, the these are <laughs> these are people who come from these great, wonderful civilizations of the past, and they should recapture that heritage once more. So I think what you've done for the Africans. The African population, especially Black Africa, um, with the help of, of people like Shikan Todiop and, and so many others, could also be done for the the people of the Americas as well. I think that that's a documentary that, that also needs to be uh, created at some mm. point soon. Absolutely. Um, for, for example, you, uh, to understand the document, what is document, what is a proof, uh, so you need everyone every human need of water you need to to drink water to to use water for cooking etc etc all right so when you drink water or when you cook water with water you don't make a movie you don't make a, a document today i drink one liter of water all right but this is the the first time the first 
the first uh, the first it's number one you need water for life all right the second you you don't make movie drinking or cooking water all right this is the second or you may don't make document but you have the third all right you have the third uh the third stage that uh the stage that you have the water meter that tell you the water meter tell you that you have consumed water this is mathematic and you have to pay at the end of the month uh, 100 dollar for for example all right so the stage one you need water you drink water the stage two you don't have document you don't have document of consuming water you don't have movie you don't have document but you have the third document the water meter in the front of uh, of your house let it show you have consumed water all right so when someone tell you uh you don't you 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 don't uh, you don't uh, drink water you don't live with water it's not impossible it's not impossible because you consumed water there it is the water meter that tell you that you have consumed water all right even you don't have proof for the second uh, stage all right so uh there are no document like uh, like Egyptian came here or African came here in uh, Central America or in South America. There is no document like this. But we have you have the third, you have the mathematic, you have like the water, uh, the water meter. You have the third, the mathematic that tell you uh, they came here. They came here. It's not possible. There is no chance that uh, the meter can be discovered by uh, population, by local population here. Uh, there is no chance. It doesn't exist. So this is that the meter, the proof that mathematically the meter came here by the Egyptian, by the African. And in a long, long period, for hundreds and thousands of years, they changed. They came, they traveled all the world. They go, they they diffuse this knowledge in uh, in Sumer. All the science, the Sumer science, it's come from Egypt, from Egypt. It's not the inverse, the inverse. It's not that the Sumerian, the Sumer discovered uh, discovered by themselves. Even the Sumer, we tell that the Sumer are black-headed. Sumer, translated, it means black-head. Black-head, it means, uh, Sumer means black-head. So the Sumerian, it's, it's African that came in Sumer, and uh, it came here in Sumer with uh, all the unit, all the science, the mathematics, etc. They traveled then in India, they brought uh, their mathematics and all the science, uh, chemistry, etc. Yeah. Yeah, we have to rethink a lot. Um, interesting. Um, all right, so we have time for a couple more questions. Um, so let's do, I know uh, if Dave and Ben are still there, let's do Dave and then Ben. Uh, Dave, you, I, I know, you, Dave, you've been writing a lot of questions, but a lot of them are really good. And I'm just curious if you could just pick one of your many thoughts to share t uh, at this moment. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Femi. Uh, the one question then is about the recot structure. I don't think that was in the documentary. Are you familiar with that? That's in West Africa. Uh, there are many people saying that that is the Atlantis. It's a uh, it's a natural formation that's made from uh, some earth pushing upwards, and it created some rings. And tens of thousands of years ago, that would have been filled with water, so it would have been uh, islands, and it would have fulfilled the definition. It would have been in the right location. You go through the gates of. Uh, Hercules or whatever it's called, I forget what, which one it was, and you you would just make a left basically and go south, 
and you would you would be able to go into Atlantis, which would be in Africa, in in the land. But I don't know if you want to look into that or if there's anything you have to say about that. Hmm. Uh, I might have uh, gone too fast there. I'm sorry I didn't speak slowly, more slowly and clearly. I'm sorry I forgot. <laughs> no, no problem. Um, but um, uh, the um, the legend of Atlantis, uh, as you know, you know, but it come by Platon, etc. Um, so um, it's legend. Uh, it's legend. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not important who, what about who was the Atlantis. Some documents said this. Uh, it was in West Africa. Uh, you know, there is a there is a, a place in shape of uh, of Atlantis in uh, in um, in south of uh, of um, of Maroc. Of uh, uh, and um, someone, some theory said that Atlantis. Is, it was uh, it was in uh, in Sumer. Some other theory that the Atlantis it was in uh, in central of of uh, America. Uh, this is not very important. Where is Atlantis and what is Atlantis? All right, it's not very important. Maybe one day we will find something more more uh, more detail. Uh, or something of archaeological found. It's not important, Atlantis. Uh, what is important? It's uh, the story of uh, three milliard of black. You know that it was erased. This is the the most important. Uh, as uh, as I think, you know. So uh, the most important is what. Um, what we what we do now uh, did what femi is telling it's true or femi is telling us nonsense what to have to do uh, did is this the real story of uh, three of the black african or uh, i'm telling uh, something nonsense you, you know uh, we are here in front of choice of importance of things what what is the most important Thank all right uh, don't go. so it's 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 good it's good it's uh it's interesting to understand the history uh to find to to search uh, the legend etc but the most important i think it's uh it's uh, the story, uh, the real things uh, to 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 develop. To what uh, what I'm talking? Did it's real or I'm talking? Uh, what is or is no sense? That's the question. All right. And uh, uh, the problem is that um, is that mainstream media there is no journalist or, or a scientific that uh, came to me let's let's go Femi we we study this so mm -hmm. yeah thank you very much thank you cool uh Ben Johnson are you still there Ben Uh, ben, or I saw that you had written some questions, um, but I guess maybe you're having trouble with your microphone. Um, let me just roll up to see if you wrote down your question. Um, ben wrote, earlier on here I found it, um, in the K-19 video, it noted that during the three flood months on their yearly calendar, the Egyptians would observe and analyze many things. I don't think it's a, it is an, a stretch that they would analyze water droplets during rainstorms if their society is noted on observation and analyzing many things during their down period from work, uh, that is the flood season, especially noted in the Book of Formation. 
where it is said that God created the world with three forms of expression, numbers, letters, and words, which all apply to the sacred math behind uh, sacred geometry, numerology, and gematria. Um, would you like to speak to that uh, observation, uh, Femi? Uh, what's the question? I, I don't. I guess the, the... I didn't really see a question. I, I, as I read it, I realized it's more of him contributing his own uh, a thought uh, mm -hmm. more than a question. Which is, I guess, just sort of supporting what you pointed out in your in your video. So, mm. thank you, Ben, for uh, for sharing that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. We've got a word here from Kelly. Says, "Thank you, Femi, for the unique unique perspective on these age old matters. Looking forward to your future presentations. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Uh, Specy." Um, says one of the greatest problems in the West is that most people are unwilling to do the work to learn. They have to be spoon-fed tiny bits of rote from a glossy talking head with the same accent as themselves. That is a true observation species, something we are hoping to cure. Um, and I think, Femi, you've done a very good job at awakening a hunger for seeking knowledge on our own terms using our own thinking thank you um, thank you i think that's pretty much um yeah i think we've hit the end of our our questions in the chat box so you've given us a lot of to think about a lot of homework to do to really internalize these ideas that are so important um we will have this uploaded with some links to your website to purchase your books as well. I know you're, I believe you finished your translation project, right? Or is that still underway? Uh, the translation of the book? No. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, some financement. Okay. Okay. So if people want to, if people are listening and they would like to help out with a donation, they can go to the website in the description box towards helping mm. the financing for the translation projects. A lot of Femi's work that needs to be uh, more broadly accessible to people of other languages. So you can do that, uh, again, description box. Also watch the video K19. Um, that, that link is also in the description box. Femi, thank you so much. And I, I have you booked for the 23rd of, which is a Saturday in the early afternoon. And uh, we look forward to continuing this journey with yeah. you again. So thank you okay. so much. And thank you, everyone, for coming today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Femi. Thank you.